call it a way of life. All right, let's get pulled out. On the water before the break of daylight. One, two, shut. Oars disappear into the dark, cold water as rowers embark on their morning journey, guided by the day's first sunlight and the last of the moon's dull reflection across the Potomac. I want that to be the focus of today's practice, right, is placing the blade, taking your time almost. This is how the women of the Wilson High School varsity crew team begin each day. It's a lot easier to get up at, you know, five, a little bit before five in the morning some days when you know you're going to see the sun rising over the Washington Monument. Rowing crew is unlike any team sport high school students typically join. I think rowing is almost a lifestyle. You can't be a rower if you're not committed to the time. Most other sports, if you want to stop running, you can stop. Like, if you're in a boat with people and you're moving so fast, if you stop, you screw it up for the entire boat and the intensity, it's like nothing else. Another way Wilson's crew program is unique, DCPS students from anywhere in the district can learn the basics and try out to become part of the team. I think I was in eighth grade and my parents said that I should probably do a sport. So I had a few friends in the grade above me who were in crew. Uh, they seemed to enjoy it. So I said, okay, I'll try crew. That experience plays a big part in encouraging beginners. I think that I can empathize with them pretty well, you know, understand where they're at, what they're going through, and try to trigger whatever it is inside that makes them want to be here and, and do their best. Keep them low going into the catch as you get squared up. Allow yourself enough space for the hands. Many of the coaches who today guide these athletes started their rowing career as part of Wilson's crew program. Been rowing for eight years now, started off at Wilson and just, you know, very happy to have had that opportunity. And I think when you, you finish that, it's really a natural inclination to want to come back and, you know, help other people do that. Learning from those who have walked in their shoes goes a long way in the journey from novice to expert. I think we're past the basics. We're just at like the point where like it's more, more and more competitive, just getting more and more like intense as it goes. I definitely want to keep going, keep uh, keep getting better, keep just, yeah, just like keep going most of it. I want to do it till I'm a senior. And... and one of the things we really try to, you know, make clear to the novice crews is, you know, this year is, again, it's going to be this transformation, but, you know, it's the first step in a four-year journey. A transformation where they begin as individuals and become one team working in unison towards the same goal. It's always the same girls, and we love each other. We're really tight-knit, and these girls, too, I'll be friends with for the rest of my life, so it's a really strong community. Building relationships with one another as well as their surroundings. You think every day you'd get bored of it, and it's just like a better sunrise the next day. You just get to see the engineering of the city. You get to see it from a different angle. It's incredible, rowing in D.C. I love rowing. I love it. I'll be rowing for the rest of my life, I think. When the last boat reaches the dock and all of the equipment returns home to the boathouse, that's when the women of Wilson's varsity crew team join the rest of the world and begin the day, carrying with them the lessons learned of self-discipline and team building while out on the water. 